back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we will be continuing our Spanish uh, campaign. Last time we left off, we had a serious issue out of um, the Suez Canal, where one of my warships was pretty much stuck, with a Russian task force stuck on top of it. It took me like seven or eight turns to get my ships out of there. It was a drag. After that I decided to start recording the new episode and I recorded like 10-15 minutes and nothing happened really. Looking back at it I was like, you know what? That's worthless. Let's just delete all the stuff. Take the loss. Been going at it for like ages now and well back at it and it is september by now um honestly i have no idea how much time has passed but it's a lot and we're starting off with a small engagement today hopefully let us hope the russians are kind enough to fight me the enemy has spotted me the enemy is shooting at me the enemy is fighting me! Hurrah! Ladies and gentlemen, the first proper engagement of the day! Light cruiser over here, please. Oh, hoo -hoo. first torpedo boat neutralized. Where is the second group? There are four torpedo boats. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, we gotta take advantage of this. Light cruiser, continue pounding the other one. The Santa Cruz secondaries, over here, please. Ha! Oh. All right. Some people say that torpedo boats are the way to go in early game. I just don't see it. I just don't. One day I should try it, though. I mean, who knows? Who knows? All I know right now is that the Santa Cruz has done a very good job. And that the enemy torpedo boats are done for. Fight I had earlier? I take it. Let me guess, the convoy is over here. And we actually have three heavy cruisers. You know what? Why not? Let's take it. They're not. I could not find them. Seriously. Somehow they managed to evade me. I think that the game only shows a single ship, you know, there is a ship northeast, yeah. Maybe there were also ten ships down to the south, but the game does not tell you. Rather frustrating. Also, did I see that correctly? Yeah, the American fleets. They're all heading back home. Such a shame. Let's see, with some luck we can intercept the group over there. There's a light cruiser over here. I'm not going to try to intercept that one. Okay. So far? So good. And we're back. And we have a fight in the Indies. Lovely. We have not had a lot of fights there uh, so far. Only a couple. Uh, mostly straining thing of having very slow ships. It's nearly impossible to catch the AI. Who often decides not to fight. One American transport sunk. Not great, not great. Light cruisers. Sea control, move. Let's see if we can intercept this American ship. There is a convoy battle here. Mm. Oh, look at that. Lost an heavy cruiser. 5,000 tons. 
against a 4,000 tonner. But I also sank some transports, so I won. Mm. Maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Anyway, let's send two new ships to that region to reinforce. Um, yeah, my fleet. I'm building another group of warships. Heavy cruisers. And, of course, I got a few um, of this class already. But there is something I want to check. Something I want to do. Um, this ship, for example, it has a dual 8-inch turret setup. However, I'm going to get rid of the 8-inchers. The 8-inchers are Mark 1s. And these heavy cruisers, like my other heavy cruisers, I'm going to replace them with... 2-inch, 6, 2-inch, uh, Mark II 6-inch guns. <laughs> and let us make sure, yes, we are at the lowest possible speed. Um, let's bring the beam down of this ship. That is, of course possible. Basic steam engines will be uh, replaced. You will get an anti-flooding system and can I go to nickel steel? Yes I can. Look at that. And some gun cotton. Can I get a two inch main deck? Yes I can. You know what? I want even more. Like so. Safe design. Delete design. Refit all ships of this class to the newest. Um, this light cruiser. That's okay. Heavy cruiser. Let's focus on the heavy cruisers for now. Again, this is a 8-inch warship. Refit you. I have 200 tons to play around with. And I would like you to have a rangefinder. Cheese. Anti-flood. A better engine. Yes, please. Bring the beam down. Draw it up. So yeah, this ship will have 9-inch guns. And a rangefinder. Ooh, hoo, 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 perfect. 100% of the space used. I have no idea how long the refit time of this ship is, though. Refit. Four ships of this type. Good. And delete that design. Let's see. We have another heavy cruiser here. A view of the design. This ship has six inch guns, but they're Mark 1s. If I refit you, things will be bad. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, you will as well get six-inch guns. Gun cotton, brown powder, all is well. Nickel steel, yes, please, with a better engine. I would like the beam to be lower. And I want you to 
be a bit higher as well. Hmm. Can I increase operational range on this ship? Yes, I can. And yeah, let's up the main deck on this baby. There we go. That should keep her useful for the time being. That's a lot of heavy cruisers that need to be refitted though. Okay, delete this design. Only the Santa Cruz may remain unupgraded in terms of heavy cruisers. What do we have here? Oh dear, another heavy cruiser class. No, wait, I already have you. I just forgot to delete the design. There we go. Good, good. Very good. So, heavy cruisers, done. Light cruisers. View the design. Yes, you have a 5-inch five, five gun. Uh, you know what, let's check it out. If I upgrade you... Oh, dear. to do that and oh does that work yes it does hmm. okay it's a big five incher that's for sure in fact how about replacing them with a couple of four inchers instead One, two, three, four inches, two inch casemates, and two five inches. It's it's a bit of a uh, weird setup, I suppose. It'll work though. And let's increase. No, let's not increase crew quarters because I am a bit low on crew. Let's lower the speed of the ship and increase. Can I get away with this? Yes, I can. Maximum range. Oh, I like you. I like you indeed. Refits. Hmm. Proceed. Okay, um, delete design. Next light cruiser, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, a lot of ships need an overhaul, that is for sure. Let's refit you. No change to the guns, that is something. But I do want anti-flooding. Let's go to Nickel Steel. Look at the four weight offset. That's bad. I'm surprised, actually, the mine laying equipment is not decreasing the four weight offset. I mean, historically, you would say mine laying gear is in the aft of the ship. Safe design. Uh, a bit low on uh, range, but I can live with that. Refit the ship. All of you. So, look at that. Many ships being refitted as we speak. And delete the design. Torpedo boats. You know what, I'm not going to upgrade you. I'm just going to delete these designs. I'm not going to build any more of them anyway. This light cruiser. I mean, I, uh, I unlocked a torpedo boat destroyer, I believe, uh, earlier. So I should get 
those builds rather than um, torpedo boats. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, sure, why not? Reduce torpedo ammo. Main guns. Four inches, please. Um, Oopsie-daisy. Wrong way. There we go. That is what I wanted. So, light cruiser with only four-inch guns. Rather than the other one that also has five inches. Let's decrease the beam. Let's decrease draught as well. And let's increase the range to maximum. Six months refit time, yeah. The, ent the entire ship is being rebuilt. Oh, but if I go for a double hull, refit time... What? Seriously, a single hull? Six months? Double hull? So I'm adding a hull to the ship? Four months. I am confused, people. I am confused. Anyway, save the design. It's good enough for what I want her to do. A light cruiser, and we have a lot of them. Upgrades. That leaves two of my battleships. Delete you. A battleship with 9-inch guns and a battleship with 13-inch guns. Why, oh why, did I make a battleship with 13-inch guns? Well, big guns, eh? Big guns matter. See what I did there. Okay, um, refits. <laughs> Yoink. And now it has a couple of three inches. Uh, three inches, sure. Christ. It's getting late, it's getting late, and I'm tired. I uh, would have loved to add another gun uh, to the ship. However, since that's not really possible, how about adding 11 inch Mark II guns? I mean, 11 inches look good. They look good indeed. We have a rear tower 2 on this ship. Let's replace that with a rear tower 4. And what kind of main tower? Medium cage mast 3. Cannot fit the large gauge mast on this so. Yeah, okay, so this is the best gauge mast there is for this whole design. Let's get rid of the funnels for a moment. Let's check if there's anything better. 36 on you. Well, I can go with a three funnel setup. Especially if I go with the better engines. Uh, ship is overweight, but only just. Hmm. Yeah, 200 tons to play around with. Well, I think standard shell, standard ammo, max AP rounds. Yeah. Save the design. She's good. She's good. A new battleship. Well, battleship upgrade. Tell me, are there any... Oh, yes, there are plenty of battleships to refit. Good. Delete design. And the St. Joseph with your 13-inch guns. Very cute. I mean, these secondaries. <laughs> Re
refit. I mean, she's carrying more firepower to her side than most of my ships have. That said, I'm going to go back from the 13 inchers, and this ship will as well get 11 inch guns. I think that is a uh, good call to make. And I'm going to increase the operational range of this ship. Well, not to maximum. But to 6,000 kilometers. And in... You know what? Decrease the main belt. Superstructure. Because we have no superstructure armor on this battleship. Let's get one inch of superstructure in. Let's get the main deck to three inch. We have a four weight offset, so... Aft belt. A bit less on the four belt and add some off deck armor can we get away with this yes we can it's gonna get overweight if i do that but i can get the main turret a bit further back okay uh secondary tower we have a rear tower 2, rear tower 2, front tower 4, front tower 4, yeah. Not much else can be done there. And yeah, only one funnel possibility, so yeah. This is her. Safe design. I could play around with the width of the ship a bit, but... And that is the San Joseph. Only have two of them. Only just finished building them as well. Uh, delete. Heavy cruiser center cruise. You have six inch guns. There's not much you need to do, I suppose. So, my torpedo boats. And two Santa Cruz class ships are not being upgraded. Well, there are a lot of ships at sea, of course. But yeah, I think this is a good way of spending this episode upgrading my ships get a bit more unity in my ships let's return these ships home as well so yeah very good very good very good next time hopefully we get a new battleship hull and right 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 torpedo boat destroyers i do have them I still need to build them, don't I? But I can wait one turn, then I get this tech. Might be useful. Ah, uh, of course, a meeting. Right here, right now. Sure. Why not? Let's be honest, I do not think my ships will find the enemy, but let's try. It appears the enemy is refusing to play ball, so I'm going to end this battle. And I'm gonna auto-fight it. And see what happens. Did I just click? I clicked the right button, didn't I? <laughs> I'm confused now. Yes, I did. <laughs> Look at that. Four enemy ships. 
My entire fleet is out. God. Screw it, I'm not going to manually fight that one. <laughs> well, at least this time I sank the Russian warships. Uh, humanity. Okay, now that more ships have returned home. Okay, nothing really can be upgraded. There is something we can do, though. Something I wanted to do. Because, you know, not getting the battles that I want, and at least I can get the designs that I want. <laughs> um, you know, we could... We could do it. And the people who have seen my other campaigns might know what is coming. Let's see, I need a single torpedo launcher. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have a torpedo launcher? Yes, 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 we do. Hmm. You know, that actually works. So, two torpedoes. On a odd angle. Um, Mark twos, Mark twos, Mark twos. Let's go with the three inch guns, shall we? In the hope. No, we cannot add a lot of three inches there. Of course, make no mistake, we can still add a lot of three inch guns to these sides here. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three, oh boy. Eight guns on each side. Should give quite a bit of firepower. We go. We have a bit of an aft weight offset, though. Um, can we fix that? Well, not like that. That's for sure. Barbats? No. Um, let's re replace the front gun with a four-incher. What? Aft weight 25.8? 25.3? 25 25.1? 25 this is considered the aft of the ship? May I insert a... lol? <laughs> I mean, sure, we could do this. And ah, if only I had a small. F um, oh, come on! Don't do this to me, game. Don't, don't do this to me, game. Okay, if I remove you. And make you wider instead. Let's get rid of the guns. What's your problem? Nothing. Nothing serious anyway. Else I can do... I can go with soft capped shells. We have a bit of a weight. 
extra. Let's make the ship smaller. Not that small. There we go. I mean, smaller is cheaper. And for my torpedo boats, cheap is good. Also, why are you... You are not aligned properly, are you? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, very good engine efficiency as well now. Um, in fact, I can get rid of you. And replace you. You know I want to. With an extra battery. Aft weight of set of only 1%. My new torpedo boat. Let's build 12 of you, and the moment you're done, all the old torpedo boats will get scrapped for scrap metal and other things. Three months, dread not whole design. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I will bid you all a very fond farewell. And next time, uh, hopefully, we can get a proper battle against the USA. I've been trying to get one for a while now, but no luck. No luck at all. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a very fond farewell.